In this video I'll explain how to divide the rows of a data set using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and in the first example I will show you how to divide the rows of a matrix object by a vector. And for this example we first need to create an example matrix as you can see in line 2 of the code. So after running this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing which is called MET. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. So after running this line of code you can see at the bottom that our matrix contains 5 rows and 4 columns. Now in the next step we also need to create a vector that we can use to divide the rows of our matrix by this vector and we can do that as you can see in line 5 of the code. So after running this line of code a new vector object is appearing at the top right which is called vec and we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 6. So as you can see our vector contains 4 numeric values 5, 1, 8 and 3. Please note that it's important that the length of this vector is the same as the number of columns in our matrix. Then in the next step in line 8 of the code we can divide our matrix object by this vector. And we can do that by applying the t function twice. Then we need to specify the name of our matrix and we need to specify that we want to divide the rows of our matrix by the values in our vector. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see that at the top right a new matrix object is appearing which is called matdiv and we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code and then you can see that we have created another matrix object which contains the values of our input matrix divided by the values in our vector. So in this first example I have explained how to divide the rows of a matrix object by the values in a vector. However, it's also possible to divide the rows of a data frame object by the values in a vector. And this is what I want to show you in the next example starting in line 11. So in line 11 of the code I'm creating an example data frame. So after running this line of code a new data frame object is appearing at the top right which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And as you can see our data frame contains exactly the same values as our matrix that we have used in example 1. However this time we are dealing with a data frame object instead of a matrix object. And then in the next step in line 14 of the code I'm using the sDataFrame function in combination with the t function. And then I'm using basically the same code as in the first example. So if you run line 14 of the code you can see that another data frame object is appearing at the top right which is called data diff and we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code and then you can see that we have created another data frame which contains exactly the same values as our output matrix in the first example. However, since we have used the sDataFrame function, we have returned a data frame instead of a matrix object. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.